I'm gonna be doing some shot glasses for a friend. So what we're gonna be doing right now is doing the prep. So I'm gonna show you how I'm prepping all the stuff and then we'll see the whole process and what is the final results. I'm gonna be using a the chalk spray. It's not chalk board, it's chalk spray, okay? Uh, this is actually is not toxic. You wash it off really quick, really easy, super simple. Uh, you will need some gloves so you don't leave the grease of your fingers or your thumbs and everything everywhere. Uh, then I'm gonna be using for this specific tutorial the F1 with the RA2 accessories, my jig of course to center everything. I have this connected to X2 film extraction. Uh, although I'm in the garage, uh, my shop, you can see here. And another thing that I'm going to be doing for paint is I have this little aluminum table that I got on Amazon. I will put the link below, it's super practical for events and everything else. I just cover it and I'm going to be painting this here. So let's see how this turns out. So I have the glasses clean, ready to start painting. So let's get to it. So the back part is clear, the part where the logo is going to be is painted. So we're gonna use this one as the test one. So first of all is the alignment that is usually a little bit of a tricky part. I'm not using my regular grips because a lot of people say that we don't have those. So when you make a tutorial, try to make it with the bare minimum, but I will put my grips on the bottom. They're sometimes way easier to hold stuff so let me show you how I put this on so let's take this part out and open this just enough to hold it so I'm gonna hold it actually in the middle part I'm gonna hold this and tie this so that is nice and tight and then I'm gonna use this part to level that so with this tool uh, that comes on the accessory kit for this, uh, you will see if this is aligned with your laser. So one way to do it is just put it there, let's move this back in place, I move it. And that's the beauty of the alignment, uh, you can just put it there and everything aligns right away so there is no fight. So once you turn this on, there is a green light that I can see where it is aligned with my laser. So I'm gonna put this up all the way. I'm gonna turn this to see where it is. I'm gonna show you in a second. Here we are. So this is what I have here. And I don't know if you guys see the green line with the dots right in the middle and of course my alignment this is flush to the edge of my alignment so that simplifies things a lot so once I have that the next thing that I have to take care of is on my software of course so first I'm gonna rotate this to the opposite direction and I'm gonna see where my alignment is It's a little bit off, so I'm going to rotate this a tad more. Check again my framing. Just need a little bit more there. Now we're talking. So now that I have that, 
I need to decide how I want this to be set on my cup basically so I'm gonna raise this just a tad more to make sure that is level here we go and I'm going to make sure here there we go I want to make sure the framing is always in the right spot it's a little lower so since this is a little lower what I'm going to do is I want to move it higher and I want to frame now again Let's turn this light off it's kind of a now let me see bit better still a little low for me now you gotta consider one thing I'm using the rotary in this side of the machine with that being said when it's in this side you need to mirror the image so it actually goes on the right place frame here we go just a tad more on the positioning and there we go okay so now the parameters that I'm using I'm using a hundred percent power on the blue light and I'm going to use only 50 speed I like to use 50 speed, one pass off, of course, with a blue light. Uh, I like to use that because I found myself that 50 speed is fast enough to get good results, doesn't make weird lines or streaks on it, and give us really a, a good overall uh, engrave. So I want to put this here so you guys can see what it's going to be doing. You're working on glass, since you're working on glass, wear extra goggles. The laser will be reflecting. Let's hit start in here. I'm gonna start the extraction. Not too much. And there you go. There is. <clears throat> All we have to do now is just wash it with warm water and it's ready for the party. So you can make this in about eight minutes and it's eight minutes because I like to use 
and a slow speed and get the best results as possible i don't want to try multiple speeds and try to make it faster rush the process and end up with weird lines uneven surfaces and things like that so <clears throat> Again, I didn't use my regular grips, the, the red ones that I use for small things. Uh, they grab everything a lot better. Uh, but I receive a lot of users telling me, please use just the standard, I wanna see how it goes. The problem is, not always work. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you a couple more stuff on this process. So here it is. I'm gonna put it on the black surface so you can see it. So there it is, you can actually feel it, how it works. So this is a done test, this is ready, and the test actually is going to be part of the whole set. Uh, now we just need to make 35 more, and we're all set. Okay, we are now on the last one. This is the last one, and here's the little army of shot glasses ready to be washed and sent to my friend so i hope you guys enjoy and kind of get a better understanding of how all this works with you know the the painting on the glass and be able the whole purpose of this is to create a surface for the laser to interact with and then with the chemical reaction with the titanium dioxide that it has on the paint is what it caused this uh, frosted effect on the grass it's taking about eight minutes and a half to nine minutes per cup so roughly six per hour not not terrible honestly uh, if you want to get that specific detail you know you want to be sure that everything is on the spot and fine uh, make sure that you subscribe, like the video, put your comments below, and if you have any questions, I will be happy to answer. And you know why? Why I always said, and I always going to be saying, fire the laser.